A number of days ago, I received a private message from a man who calls himself Lestud, whom I had subscribed to a week or so earlier when he posted a hilariously convoluted video response to one of my rants. The private message beckoned me to post a video response to some of his videos here on YouTube, refuting what he generously referred to as his points. I told him that because his views were so completely out of the mainstream, and it was so obvious that no one was listening to his rhetoric other than people like myself who had subscribed out of some unnamed emotion between bemusement and amusement, that I didn't have time to waste on him. He called me a coward, and I blew him off. Today, he sent me yet another message, informing me that he had created a video about me. I groaned and clicked on it and sat listening to his diatribe for three minutes and eight seconds. He said in his video, It is much easier to tear down and destroy than it is to build. He heaves this statement at myself and Brett Keen as if he believes the weight of the world is behind it. Allow me to blow it away like the fluttering little feather that it is. The statement implies that atheists like myself are only combating theism merely for the sake of seeing an idea die. This is not the case. We combat theism for the opposite reason entirely. Our goal is to create a society where ideas can thrive on their own merit rather than being judged against, ar against archaic moral guidelines detailed in an ancient text. He proceeds to characterize me as a dim-witted, vulgar person, and my subscribers as angsty rebels who I use to fuel the fires of my raging ego. He then excuses the failure of Christians to properly refute me by claiming that the Christians that I have encountered in the past are not true Christians. Forgive me, Lestud, but I've heard your silly excuses before. From Guy McPherson to Shirley Phelps Roper to my mother to Firefly 515, every Christian is prepared to tell me why every other Christian isn't really a true Christian. It's quite a convenient excuse for you and your kind. It's obvious to me, and everyone else who saw your video, that you're desperate for my attention. And since I've never been one to let a debate pass me by, I'll humor you by refuting one of your ideas. First of all, let me state that your videos are nothing more than Hallmark cards if they were written by an escaped mental patient. You blather endlessly and incoherently about ridiculous ideas with no basis in reality. In one video, you made the claim that thinking about doing something is the same as doing it. So if you're going to think about it, you may as well just do it. I hope that the pedophiles who have never actually acted on their fantasies, or the crime novelists who have never actually murdered anyone, or the suicidal people who have the strength to keep going despite wanting to die, don't take your advice at face value. The world would obviously be a lot worse off for it. What's worse, this idea is not some errant thought that you spoke without thinking. It is a recurring theme in your entirely scripted videos. You seem to make no distinction between thought and action, and that alone puts you well beyond the realm of the respect of any rational person.